Hey guys, Darren here. I want to talk to y'all about some stuff uh, that's going on. Um, I'm out here, it's a Sunday evening, I'm catching up doing some videos. They were trying to do three or four, get them all set up in queue for you guys for later on in the week as they roll down uh, through uh, queue. But I wanted to uh, kind of touch base with y'all. And uh, let you know my thoughts on uh, some things that are going to be happening uh, fairly soon nationally. Today, in one of the uh, cities, we're rioting has become an everyday term. There was someone who was shot and killed a counter protester to a counter protest so would that be a counter counter protester uh, they were at the wrong place at the wrong time and they were wearing one of the MAGA hats M-A-G-A -A. Uh, Trump supporters is what they were called I'm sure you've seen about it and heard about it guys don't go to places like that right now with all this shit happening I mean shit Don't go looking for trouble. What is it? The rule of stupid. Don't go to stupid places doing stupid things with stupid people at stupid hours. Don't go doing that. You get more than two of those stupids in a row, you're going to get hurt. That's the way it is. There are things that are happening. There are things that are in play that we do not have to take what they are going to offer. So, do not go into places like that. To right any wrongs or anything at the moment. Best thing, what we need to do is hunker down now. Take care of our families. I know everybody's saying, oh, but we got to do this to defend this and that. Well, I'm defending all this and all that. And the Constitution's just fine. Right now, you need to take care of your ass and make sure that it's okay. It's not going to get any better. If you are in one of these cities where this kind of thing is happening, get out. Get out. Get the hell out. Why haven't you? I, if you can do it, you need to do it. I was listening to reports today. People are driving all the way into Nevada to get U-Hauls to drive back to California to load their stuff up and to move out and leave because so many people are leaving. Guys, if you're in these bad areas, you need to leave. You should have planned. You should have had an exit strategy. If you didn't, you need to work something out really quick. And I'm sorry, uh, but that's just the way it is. If you hadn't planned anything out yet, you might be caught in the lurch and just being caught in the lurch could get you in a whole lot of trouble and that is not what I want I do not condone uh, the loss of any life any loss of life is regrettable but when someone tries to come at you to harm you to take something from you or to take something from your family or to harm your family then there is the question of whose life is more valuable and the question that I ask myself and then the answer that I give myself is my life is much more important than the person who is trying to come take and harm they have already forfeited themselves because they've broken the rule of stupid We are an America full of people who do good stuff, who work hard, who come home, take care of their kids, take care of their grandkids, their wives, their grandparents, their parents, and then they just want to be left the hell alone. And that is our blessing and our curse because we have sat down, myself included, and we have said, Jesus, let somebody else do this shit. But 
they have not done it. Do not continue to expect law enforcement and the police to do everything for us. We need to do it for ourselves. That's not to say we form a vigilante and go out looking for trouble. Right now, we need to hunker down, sit this out, see what happens, assess, and then plan. Make sure that you have your people in place and your groups. If not, you need to get on it. Make sure you have everything set aside for your family. If not, you really need to work on that as well. I could talk so much more about this, but I have done 1,600 videos on the subject. Um, so, be careful, be safe, be very aware. This is going to be a very rough week. It's going to be a very rough month. Keep your head down, keep your eyes open, take care of your people.